Thorey. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Arlington City Council October 27th evening meeting and uh, I'd like to ask Councilwoman Catherine Wildman to uh, open with our invocation and lead us in our pledge. Will you all rise please? And pray with me. Father God, we come to you tonight thanking you for just the privilege that we can, uh, that we can come together, that we can uh, come together under your grace and mercy. Lord, today has been a busy day for everyone, um, the council and uh, all those that are in attendance tonight. Lord, we thank you for all that have come. We thank you for the privilege that we can serve our community. We pray that you will bless this city with your um, grace and mercy. And that, Lord, we thank you tonight for the young people that have come. And that these young men, our future leaders, are here, Lord. We pray that you will bless them with knowledge and wisdom as they grow up to serve in this community. We thank you for their leaders, Lord, that um, are teaching these young men to, uh, to grow up to be leaders. Father, I just pray now that um, you will bless this time and that we will bring honor and glory to you, Lord. For it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Now I would like to cause um, the We Below One, Pack 399, to come. They're going to lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance tonight. They are coming from St. Barnabas United Methodist Church, and they just happen to be the oldest troop in Arlington, and they're celebrating their 50-year anniversary. So if we will let the, uh, the We Below's Lead the pledge tonight for us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. What a special privilege to have you lead us in our pledge. And um, Dr. Cluck is at a meeting at the hospital, so I've been asked to conduct the meeting on his behalf. And I'd like to have uh, April Nixon come forward. She's our Director of Finance, Financial and Management Resources. With her, Deborah Carrejo, our Purchasing Manager, Janice Hughes, Judith Mosley, our purchasing agents and buyers, Lisa Mays, Mays and Barbara Sprinkle. And if I'm strong enough, I want to get this out. April, tell us a little bit what we're talking about. The city has uh, won for the sixth consecutive year in a row Achievement at, of Excellence in Procurement Award. And would you tell us sure. what that entails? Sure, absolutely. First of all, the City of Arlington is very fortunate to have a very experienced uh, and talented purchasing division. Uh, they help us every day uh, stay within state law as well as uh, help us get our work done. And uh, they have won several consecutive awards. Uh, I believe this year is the seventh. Six. Sixth, sorry. Uh, and uh, Deborah's going to give a little bit more detail on the award, um, but we're very fortunate here to have such a, a experienced and talented staff. Thank you. On behalf of the City of Arlington, my staff, Lisa Moss, buyer, Janice Hughes, senior purchasing agent, Judith Mosley, purchasing agent, and Barbara Sprinkle, who could not be with us today due to a family emergency, I'd like to accept this award and give a very large thank you to mayor and city management for allowing the innovation and changes that we need to do to improve in our process because we believe that this is going to benefit the vendor community end users and citizens because every time we improve a process taxpayer dollars are being better spent thank you thank you so much we are so proud we have the best staff of city workers and this is just the behind the scenes folks that we don't get to see you often so congratulations and we get to relish in the award that you all work so hard for so thank you thank you so much 
Ms. Wildman, could you come back and join me? And I want to ask Stephen Smith and Cynthia Fava with the uh, Soup Hope Fund to come forward. How are you? Uh, this is great, and we've asked Ms. Wildman to uh, join us down here because no one works harder for our efforts in uh, clean air and transportation, and uh, we are so thankful for the Soup Hope Fund because these are the folks who continue uh, with their generosity towards the commuter bus program, and you know that departs our south. Uh, park and ride system and there are so many people who rely on that form of transportation and service for their daily commute and we thank you so much for that. We're also proud to announce that this program's contribution to cleaner air for North Texas resulted last year in reduced vehicle emissions of over two tons and I think that's exactly what it's all about. So um, Stephen, Stephen, do you have a a gift for Miss Wilman to the city. Oh, it's a large gift. Thank you. And would you like to come make some comments? This is the second year that downwinders at risk have participated in the commuter bus program. First, I'd like to thank Fiona Allen, who's the deputy city manager without whose help this would have not come together. Downwinders is a clean air nonprofit organization working in North Central Texas. Through our grant funding arm, the Soup Hope Fund, we give money to small organizations to help keep our air clean. This particular grant is for taking cars off the road and reducing ozone pollution. And it is with great pride that we partner with the city and the Fort Worth Transportation Department to present this grant to the city. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. We thank you for all your work. Okay. And we will go take care of that just right now. Thank you so much. That concludes our special presentation this evening, and I'd like to uh, call on uh, City Secretary to uh, tell us if we have any appointments to boards and commissions. Uh, yes, ma'am, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Wolf. We have one appointment tonight to the Zoning Board of Adjustment, uh, Catherine Ming. And that's okay. all. Do I have a motion? Second. Here, a motion and a second. May I have your votes, please? Passed unanimously. Thank you so much. Um, items from executive session? Yes, ma'am. There are two resolutions being brought forward from executive session. The resolution seat number one, uh, notice of intent to bid mineral lease at Bob Cook Linear Park, Hugh Smith Recreation Center, East Police Substation, and Southeast Branch Library. And number two is the Intermodal Parking Facility Stadium Venue Project. And that's all from the executive, ma'am. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion. Second. The motion has been made and approved. May I have your votes, please? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Next item on our agenda is approval of the minutes for the afternoon and the evening meetings of October 13th, 2009. I'll entertain a motion. Move for approval. Second. Motion made and approved. May I have your votes, please? Thank you, unanimously. Uh, next is our consent agenda. And um, Madam Secretary, if you will read the consent agenda, please. Yes, ma'am. Tonight we have um, nine minute orders, the final readings of three ordinances and nine resolutions. The minute orders seek to authorize, number one, the annual service agreement for leased library books. Number two, an annual agreement for software support and maintenance of 3M 
RFID inventory tracking and self checkout software. Three is professional services contract for an automated cold water meter consultant. Four, annual requirements contract for liquid chlorine and caustic soda. Number five is the annual requirements contract for anhydrous ammonia. Six is the water quality monitoring pilot project. Seven, the annual requirements contract for maintenance and painting of city facilities. Eight is engineering services contract for Johnson Creek. And number nine is the change order number one for the Center Street pedestrian trail. The ordinances seek to authorize zoning case SUP 09-10. Number two is the super graphics temporary wall decor. Three is the 2009 automated red light enforcement ordinance amendment. C, the resolution seek to authorize number one, the resolution supporting the Arlington Federal Legislative Agenda for 2010. Number two is the interlocal agreement for cooperative purchasing with Arlington Independent School District. Three, the resolution ap approving FY 2010 tax roll. Four is the 2009 canine drug interdiction grant. Five is the 2009 Homeland Security grant. Six, Tarrant County 911 District FY 2010 budget. Seven, solid waste grant funding. Eight is a super graphic permit fee. And number nine is a Texas clinic at Arlington Chapter 380 agreement for economic development incentives. And that concludes the consent agenda, madam. Thank you. Mayor Council, Park. is any uh, items to be withdrawn for consideration? <laughs> Mr. Bennett? I'd like to remove uh, item 7C1, please. Any others? If not, I will uh, take a motion to consider uh, the consent agenda as presented with the exception Can of the. For approval. May I have your votes, please? Thank you. It passes unanimously. Mr. Bennett? Thank you. Uh, I move to amend, uh, this is item 7C1, I move to amend the draft 2010 federal legislative agenda by adding a fourth bullet under the economic stimulus and recovery section of page seven to read legislation which will promote the retention recruitment and growth of arlington businesses is there a second here a second thank you may i have your vote please and that passes unanimously thank you um, we will move on now to public hearings uh, remind you that any one wishing to speak for or in opposition of these ordinances can fill out a card out in the uh, foyer and uh, we will call on you otherwise we're ready for uh, agenda 10 a1 public hearing on gas well permits gw09-32 and gw0933 uh, mr jim Perjean, director of community <coughs> development and planning yeah, uh, council members, I believe the applicant is in the audience, um, and I, I would uh, ask that they come forward and speak to the case. Okay. Um, Laura Patton. Laura Patton, 100 Energy Way, Fort Worth, 76102. Members of the council, I'd like to uh, come before you this evening with the application for two drilling permits off of the Fulson drill site. Uh, the drilling permits are for the Fulson 1H and the West Wing 1H. The zoning for this drill site was approved in August. At this location, we meet all setback requirements. No waivers or letters of, or petitions of support were needed, and we will comply with all areas of the Arlington drilling ordinance. With the permit, we were able to submit 170 letters of petition that fell outside of that 600 foot radius for residents in this area that support this site. This drill site will benefit over 1,200 residential homes in this area of Arlington. Uh, at this time, we ask for your approval of these two drilling permits and are available to ask any questions that you might have. Any questions, Council? I see none. Thank you. Thank you. Also registered in support of this zoning um, or this resolution hearing is Dusty Anderson. 
um, says available for questions, and T. Brown, available for questions. Seeing none, we will move forward those in now. Oh, Mr. Bennett, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm learning how to drive tonight. Mr. LeBlanc? Okay. We hear from opposition. Keith Coop. Good evening. Uh, my name is Keith Cope. I am with Harwood 360 Holdings Limited, the property owner directly adjacent to and surrounding the west and southern boundaries of this drill site.